had a lot of people tell me about this little town, this place called Green, Green River, Utah. So today I decided to go take a little drive and go see Green River, Utah. Apparently there's lots of stuff and lots of beautiful things to do in this town. So I'm going to see and check out Green River. I'm going to go check out a beach that they have there. Obviously it's a lake, but they call it a beach. And then there's a few other things I don't really want to name just as yet because I don't know if I'll make it to all the places um, due to time limit because there's tons of stuff out here. But I'm going to try to go and explore as much as I can today. So off to Green River. Apparently, Green River, Utah is the home of the largest watermelon. Apparently, it's not a watermelon that you can eat. So, but since I'm here, we'll see the largest watermelon. Looks like they might use it for floats. I don't know. Let's check it out though. <laughs> there it is. And there it goes. <laughs> So the city is called Green River, Utah because the Green River runs through it and the Green River is green. <laughs> That's how the Green River got its name is because of the green tint to it. So it's defi definitely green. It's a, it's a cool little town though. Apparently um, the Green River runs through Wyoming and Colorado and Utah and uh, Green River, Utah, they used to run the U.S. Mail across the Green River back in the uh, late 1800s, I believe it was. So, yeah. Right now I'm heading to Swassie's Beach. Wow, this is really pretty. So this is the beach I was talking about. And the, the mountains around it is beautiful. So I pull into the beach pretty cool little area but um I did not expect to see this right here this is bear country apparently black bears I didn't know they existed in Utah because I'm still in Utah well I did always say I wanted to see a bear
So where the beach was, there was uh, a dirt road that went past the beach. And apparently the dirt road goes through the mountains and uh, alongside the river. So I decided to take the dirt road, see where it goes. So I just came up upon a little cabin. A stone cabin. <laughs> so let's go check this out. That's pretty cool. Right on the river. Hmm. Look at this view though. road actually because I do know at the end of this road there is something that I did want to see so apparently there is a big huge rock formation that is shaped like Nefertiti Egyptian goddess so I thought that was pretty cool <clears throat> because I actually have Nefertiti tattooed on my arm <laughs> to go with my little Egyptian theme thing that I have on my arm so yeah this is a pretty cool little drive. It's hot as balls today though. I think out here in Green River today, I think it is uh, 103, I think it is. So it's pretty freaking hot. Hey, I found it <laughs> it's pretty cool it looks just like her <laughs> so the long dirt road that you have to drive down it is 18 miles to get down that road um, the dirt road and uh, if you have a regular car I wouldn't really suggest just bringing a car down here like me I have my Jeep over there, which is lifted in 37s, but that's really, really rocky and really, really bumpy and very, very narrow. And there are certain areas in the, um, the road where it's really thick sand that you got to drive through. I mean, a car could probably make it, but it's going to take you forever to get down, down here. So, but it's a beautiful drive.
So one of the popular things in Green River is the Crystal Geyser. It's a geyser. So it's one of the only six cold water geysers in the whole entire world. So this geyser is partially human made though. Um, so I did a little bit of research and on the research it says the geyser goes off like every 12 to 14 hours. They really didn't know exactly when but it's around every 12 to 14 hours. So I just took the chance of coming out here and go figure it's going off. I was pretty excited to see that. <laughs> so what are the odds of that? So I got lucky and the geyser is erupting. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. It's one of the only six uh, cold, water cold water geysers in the whole entire world. world. So, and it's really pretty. It's right off of the Green River. So it's pretty cool. All right, let's see the geyser. Really beautiful. 
cold. It's not hot during the summer. <laughs> so now let me get off these dirt roads, concentrate on driving because they're narrow also. And uh, until next time.